The Eiger is a 13,020 foot mountain in the Bernese Alps in the heart of Switzerland. The northern side of the mountain rises about 9,800 feet above Grindelwald and the beautiful meadows and valleys of the Bernese Oberland. My ambition? Not only to climb part of the west flank, but to fly off the mountain and down the north wall in my wingsuit. So we're at the base of the west flank of the Eiger. Check it out. All the way up there is a rock called the Mushroom Rock. And I'm not quite sure where it is, but we'll find it. I'm gonna jump off it. The mountain has so much rich climbing history, it felt amazing to step foot on it. Up the Eiger we go. Up the Eiger we go. Swirling clouds dance around in the morning light, illuminating our faces and flanks. Get to the north face of the Eiger. How good is this? Woof! <laughs> and we're going up there, right where that cloud's streaming off the summit, just right there, there's the mushroom. Woohoo! Exciting. Okay, so here I am at the bottom of the fixed lines on the Aiga. As you can see, it goes vertical here, pretty steep, but there are some fixed lines, so. Not too worried about it, it looks uh, quite straightforward climbing. Welcome. Hide in here. The cloud build quickly and obscure my view, making me question if the jump will be possible. Super cloudy, so I think I might have to descend. We'll get up to these fixed lines, see how we go. I can always descend these lines pretty easily because they're fixed, but uh, we'll get up here, have a look, and uh, make a decision soon. It's not hard, it's just kind of a little intimidating when you're by yourself. I've never been up here before. So, kind of a little nerve wracking, but that's what exploring and adventure is all about, really. Getting out there and giving it some. Yeah, baby. Here we are, top of the fixed lines. Looking pretty good. Clouds are coming in and out. As I hike, I can't help thinking how lucky I am to be in such an amazing place and about to do something simply incredible. I reach the exit point at 2 p.m. It's a mushroom-shaped rock that towers vertically above the north wall. All right, so here we are. We are at the mushroom rock. And the clouds are going in and out like two minutes ago, it'd be perfectly jumpable. So there's not a breath of breeze, which is great. And uh, just wait for a lull in the clouds, wait, could I, wait till I can see the ground. Obviously very important base jumping that you can see the ground. <laughs> so I'll wait for a really good, nice, clear pocket and uh, hopefully be able to have a beautiful flight down to Grindelwald. All right, here we go, north face of the Eiger. Okay, it looks like I got my gap, so I'm gonna move quickly across the mushroom. Um, and jump this thing. Okay, we're clear, which is good. Put the chest strap on. Now, what you want to do is lower yourself out with this one here. Oh, there it is. Oh, chest strap's on. This is on. That's on. Weights on it. Yeah, I'm on the mushroom, baby. Woo! That's intense. North face of the Eiger. Woo! Waited many years for this jump and I gotta go now before the clouds get worse.
Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. See ya. After exiting the mushroom and getting flying away from the north wall, it felt incredible. There was this perfect little cloud just to soar around as I turned right towards Grindelwald. As you fly, the terrain steps down and away, and so you end up with enormous amount of altitude, and the jump almost feels like a wingsuit skydive. And that's the quick way down. Just jump the north face of the Eiger. You can see it behind me in the clouds. Just dodging those clouds was amazing. And uh, perfect jump. Made it a long way down the valley. So super stoked about that little downwind landing because there's no flags in the landing area at all. And uh, that has been a dream of mine for over five years. You know, I've thought about jumping the Eiger over and over and over and over again. And, that was unbelievable. <laughs> so much fun, look at that thing. Back up in the clouds up there, just unreal. Can't wait to go and do that again at some point.